Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can embed video and add outside content to your uh, Google site. So if you have a video that's already saved um, in your Google Drive, that'll work. If there's a video on YouTube that you'd like to embed, you have that option as well. Um, you might also have a Prezi or an Animoto slideshow that, um, that you have uh, saved someplace else that you might want to add. So all of these are different options for um, possible content we might want to embed onto our Google site. So let's look at the different ways that we can do that. Uh, if we have video content, probably the easiest way to do it is to take your video file, add it to your Google Drive, and then when we go to the Insert uh, tab under Google Drive, when you click on that, it'll open up our drive and then we'll see um, the different content that we have. So if we click on Drive and we'll just go ahead and scroll down through our Google Drive folders, locate a video that you might want to embed, double click on it. And so um, in order to test the video, we can click on the little eyeball up at the top, click that to preview so you can see what your Google site will look like. And you can see your video um, playing right there. Okay, So we'll go ahead and close out of our preview mode. Another option for uh, embedding video is by using YouTube. So if you have a YouTube channel that um, you can add videos to, that's one option. Or if there's another uh, video on YouTube that you'd like to incorporate onto your Google site, you have that option. So when we click under uh, Google Embeds and click on YouTube, we can search for videos. Or like I mentioned before, if you already have a, a YouTube channel, that you add videos to on a regular basis, you can choose one of those um, to add as well. And we simply select it and it will embed uh, onto the site. Now, if you have outside content, uh, such as an Animoto slideshow or a Prezi presentation that you've uh, created on another web-based app, we can add that to our Google site, but it's not going to be embedded, meaning that uh, your Prezi or your Animoto slideshow, it's not gonna play on the actual Google site itself. Instead, the new Google Sites offers an embed URL, uh, which will basically create a nice little screenshot of your presentation and when you click on it on the Google site it'll take you to that outside website where it can be played. So let's take a look at how this works. Uh, when you click on the embed URL button it's going to ask you for the URL or the share link um, for your, your presentation. So we'll go to Animoto where we have our slideshow that we want to embed. And instead of going to the embed code, which might seem appealing since we're embedding a URL, we actually want the share link. So click on that and copy the share link. And this would be a similar process if you were using Prezi or any of your other web-based applications. And we'll simply go back and paste that into the URL spot and click add. And so if we go to our preview mode, you'll see that while we were able to play these other video contents right within Google Sites itself, this Animoto product, it gives me a nice little screenshot of it, but when we click on it, it's going to take us to the outside Animoto site to play our actual video. So it's a little bit different than the original Google Sites, but you can still add that content and be able to play it um, on your web-based applications.